Well, she technically never started. I'm talking about the disaster of bringing in a chief grifter to professional status at NBC News after this person attempted to overthrow democracy. Rachel Maddow broke it down very well. Yes, NBC has changed their mind, here it is. I will tell you the fact that Ms. McDaniel is on the payroll at NBC News. To me, that is inexplicable. I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't hire a like a, a wise guy. You wouldn't hire a made man like a mobster to work at a DA's office, right? <laughs> you you wouldn't hire a pickpocket to work as a TSA screener. And so I, I find the decision to put her on the payroll ex, inexplicable. And I, and I hope they will reverse their decision. And it's not about you know, Democratic Party, Republican Party. It's not about partisanship. It's not about right versus left. It's not about being a political professional versus some other kinds of person. It's not about being mean or nice to journalists. It's not about just being associated with Donald Trump and his time in the Republican Party. It's not even about lying or not lying. It's about our system of government and undermining elections and going after democracy. Yeah, ongoing, by the way. All right, put up the picture full mass. We talked about this earlier in the week. It made no sense to us, including you. There is no doubt, according to NBC, quote, there is no doubt that the last several days have been difficult for the news group. After listening to the legitimate concerns of many of you, I have decided that Ronna McDaniel will not will not be an NBC News contributor. NBC Universal Group Chairman Cesar Cundi said in an email to staff members on Tuesday, quote, I want to personally apologize to our team members who felt we let them down. While this was a collective recommendation by some members of our leadership team, I, I approved it and take full responsibility for it, end quote. Um, so number one, you need to fire everybody who was on that damn recommendation committee. Because if they don't have enough insight to understand the backlash, why do you need them as a committee? They were supposed to give you a recommendation that would have made you a superstar, not a supervillain. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this, program called Indisputable. We just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. There's more. The decision to cut ties with McDaniel comes less than a week after NBC News announced her hiring, prompting an extraordinary public protest from the former host of its flagship Sunday morning political show, as well as many of the most popular hosts of the network's cable channel. Rachel Maddow opened up her show, as you just saw, told them to change their mind. Uh, you also had uh, Chuck Todd, and this is how he did it. Chuck, let's dive right in. What were your takeaways? Look, let me deal with the elephant in the room. Yeah. I think our bosses owe you an apology for putting you in this situation, because I don't know what to believe. She is now a paid contributor by NBC News. Well, I have no idea whether any answer she gave to you was because she didn't want to mess up her contract. Mm. Um, she wants us to believe that she was speaking for the RNC when the RNC was paying for it. So she has, she has credibility issues that she still has to deal with. Yeah. Is she speaking for herself or is she speaking on behalf of who's paying her? But once at the RNC, she did say that, hey, I'm speaking for the party. I get that, that's part of the job. So what about here? I, I will say this, I think your interview, uh, did a good job of exposing, I think, many of the contradictions. And look, there's a reason why there's a lot of journalists at NBC News uncomfortable with this, because many of our professional dealings with the RNC over the last six years have been met with gaslighting. Yeah, let's forget that she called them, and when I say them, particularly those journalists, fake news, criticized their character, not just their reporting. But beyond that, this individual attempted to overthrow democracy in her own way. You know, everybody contributed a little bit here. 
She did in a major way. All right, uh, so the criticism, obviously, over her hiring continued Monday from early in the morning to late at night on MSNBC with Morning Joe uh, saying that while NBC News should include conservative Republican voices to balance election coverage, it should not be someone, quote, who used her position of power to be an anti democracy election denier, end quote. Television networks frequently add politicians and political operatives to their rosters to serve as analysts and commentators. It's normative. MSNBC host um, Jen Psaki is a former press secretary of Joe Biden. And Michael Steele, who was chairman, barely chairman of the RNC from 2009 to 2011. Uh, they took his power of purse away, he could not spend money. Uh, MSNBC political analyst to co host all get hired from this stock, all right? But the hiring of McDaniel prompted concern. Uh, Nicole Wallace, a former White House communications director for President George W. Bush, who is now a host on MSNBC, said on her show Monday that having McDaniel on the network would embolden election deniers. NBC News either uh, wittingly uh, or unwittingly uh, is teaching election deniers that what they can do stretches well beyond appearing on our air and interviews to peddle lies about the sanctity and integrity of our elections. She said, and I agree, I concur. Um, NBC, from the hiring of McDaniel to the hiring of Megyn Kelly, we remember that. Uh, we all said clearly, this is bad, this is wrong, this is going to blow up in your face. Who's making these decisions? Who's on the leadership committee making the recommendations? Uh, big ups to MSNBC and the entire team because they made it clear. Uh, if you all stick with this decision, we're gonna keep talking about this subject from the morning show to the last damn live show. And every single one of them did the same thing, even those that disagree politically on occasion. It was a beautiful thing to witness, and decision was overturned. Why some thoughts here? I got to give credit to one. The it seems like the workforce, the journalists at NBC Universal Comcast. We got to remind folks, yeah, that this is a huge conglomerate, y'all. This is a huge corporate entity. Um, I got to give credit to their journalists in the workforce who, who had a bit of a mutiny behind this and had to bring these bring their bosses to water on seeing the, the truth of the matter, which is that this woman should not be a paid contributor for the company. And, you know, to the boss's credit, I got to give them props for actually listening. They don't always listen yeah. to their workforce on these type of matters specifically. Um, I think people might think, what were they thinking? Uh, the bosses love to have a horse racy. Let's get Republicans up here so we can have the, you know, the back and forth fake debate on our airwaves. That's what they huh? thought they were doing. And they thought this woman was, because she was part of some level of Republican establishment, was as good as any other Republican out of the bin. And clearly they didn't do their homework about some of the nefarious activities that she herself actually took part in. Like she's on tape telling people right. like, oh, no, no, don't worry, we'll get you some lawyers. Don't worry, you can undermine the, the results, don't worry. Um, she's like known to have taken part in these heinous acts, quite frankly. And so, yeah, we got to give it to the workforce for actually forcing management to see the light um, and also the error of their own ways. Very well said. Uh, once again, well done.